Hello. Hi, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Look, oh, look what showed up today. So this is my Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club box. And it's not a box this month. It's a bag. Every once in a while, they switch it up. And yeah, and I, it's hard to know exactly what to expect. But the thing that has me curious is this fragile marker here because like it feels like there's something soft inside. I mean, we know there's going to be fiber in here, but what is fragile and would a fragile thing work better in a box? So what is it? I don't know, but shortly we will find out. <laughs> So I am an affiliate marketer with Paradise Fibers, which means I do earn commissions when I make sales and they send this to me for free to share. But if you've watched any of my unboxings in the past, you know that the creativity and love and care they put into each month's surprise mystery fiber box is unbelievable. And so I wholeheartedly endorse this product. Um, if you would like to sign up, my affiliate link is in the video description and I'll drop it into the chat periodically. So what is the Fiber of the Month Club? Well, each month there are six to eight ounces of fiber and so that it's hand dyed or blended or there's lots of cool variation in the beautiful fibers. We've had everything from pineapple fiber, rose fiber, a lots of merino and BFL and Tessa Silk and all kinds of things. And there have been things that are new and innovative that I haven't seen before. So it's always just really, really fun. I think we've had flax, uh, all kinds of fibers. So it's a good mixture for someone who's learning, even learning to spin because you can experiment with different blends and fiber types and they have recommendations and things like that. What's even better than the beautiful fiber is that there's always a theme each month and they have a lot of fun like going all in on the theme so i'm very curious <laughs> about what's in here uh, the subscription starts at 34.99 a month for people who live in the continental us uh, the price does go up if you live in alaska hawaii canada or the uk or eu um, but whichever the the cost of the shipping is included in your subscription price um, so it's a really good deal and a lot of fun, but I do need to say spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, because, uh, it's an unboxing. So I will be sharing everything that's in here. Sometimes there's a little bit of variation between different kits. And so you might have, uh, something that's slightly different in terms of colors from what I have in here, but generally, um, like the, at least like the blend, the fiber content and things are the similar within boxes and funny I go and I look to try to see the chat and I see an ad <laughs> oh my goodness but yes I will drop um, the link in the chat one more time yeah so it's a very very fun fun kit um, and so the bag which I was trying to see I think it's just printed on the bag so I don't know if this is a clue to something I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm trying to remember if this was on a bag they sent once before. I think the alternate packaging that I have seen since I've been unboxing this for over a year and a half now, I think my first one was July, um, years ago. Okay. So that's what I wasn't sure. So I didn't know what this was and what the word meant. And I Googled it and Outlander showed up, um, in the search results. And so I think that this uh, Sassanach is like a word that seems to like refer to like an outsider, like an a English outsider. Um, but I've never actually seen Outlander. So there might not be things that I get <laughs> if it is an Outlander themed box, but I also don't know, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen any spoilers. Um, so yeah, <laughs> wait, so the, the, okay, why don't I Google the word and, okay, so I Googled the Sassanach and if I'm butchering that, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's, um, it's a derogatory Scottish word for an English person was the dictionary.com, uh, thing. Um, yeah, I think that I would probably really, really like it. Um, but apparently 
um, the very first like episode, like season one, episode one, it's like what it's called. So anyway, so I don't know, but we will see. Hello, Paradise Fibers. Ooh, good. They're good. I announced this with not a lot of time. Um, so we're just talking about the packaging and yeah, the fragile. <laughs> I'm very curious. So if you're watching the replay or if you're li watching live right now, Paradise Fibers is in the chat and so they can answer questions. All right, but let's open this up. Um, I am so curious. Uh, ooh, okay, so we've got, we've got the newsletter and then we've got, <laughs> check it out. So we've got, it's like a tied fabric bundle. Wow, that must have taken forever to do. That is so cute. Oh, so I started to say, there've been a few in the like, over a year and a half that I've been unboxing these, there've been a few like alternate packagings. We've had a burlap sack um, once, we had a backpack once, um, but this is really, really creative. And, uh-oh. Aha! Okay. <laughs> you bring this stool over and shift. Um, okay, but yes, the, the chat is correct. We've got an Outlander themed box here today. Um, oh, and I'm not going to look at that because I don't want to see spoilers. Um, I think that this is awesome. I think that it adds... Okay, I always get excited when the Paradise Fibers box shows up, but when it's a different kind of package, I'm like, woo, woo, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Okay, so let's untie. Ooh, okay. I'm glad I had this stool nearby. All right, so we've got some beautiful, beautiful fiber and ooh, oh, oh, okay. So we've got, this is like a really beautiful mixture and I'll, I'll look at the, the list to see what we have, but in, we've got five colors of wool and they are heathered um, and then one natural. And it's sort of a, we've got a, um, like a golden color, a more slightly rusty red, a green and like a denim blue. These are beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's set it down. And we've got, <laughs> look at our vinyl sticker this month. Oh my gosh. Um, yes. Oh, right. So if it's, if you sign up today, I guess, before the 10th of the month, you will get this month's box. Um, but if it's after March 10th and you want the March box when you sign up, just send them a note or call Paradise Fibers and they can make that happen for you. Okay, so we've got... 10 ounces of the new Shetland Heather collection. So you have two ounces of five different shades. Um, so we've got, um, so the red, so they're named after Scottish wildflowers. So we've got, well, this is the natural one. Um, oh, I see it. Okay, so then the blue is, oh gosh, Econops. Uh, the red is Sorrel. The yellow is Fairy Flax. The green is rosewood, and there is a purple color named thistle that is not included. Now, the, usually the way this works with releases, if you are a member of the fiber club, of the fiber of the month club, and you want more of any of the fiber, you can get access to it before it goes live on the website. So you can email or call customer service to place an order. And fiber club members get 10% off all full priced fiber purchases. So uh, that is pretty much a win. Um, ooh, okay. So there is, there's a warning here. Mind your, ah, mind yourself. I'm not going to try to do the accent. Okay. Um, when opening the drawstring bag contains glass vial. So that's what was fragile. Um, so yes, all those shades include more natural shades that are available to order today. Simply call or email us and we'll place a special order for you. The Heather collection will not be for sale. Um, on our site until the end of the month, which I think is nice because it gives another perk for club members. If you want more of something in your box, you can get it before it's available to the public. So it sort of gives you that access to pre-order. 
Um, let's see. I'm seeing questions. Yes, they're beautiful. It's all Shetland wool. Um, yes. Uh, so I have a, um, we tend to keep like subscription boxes and we turn them into blocks that the kids use. You know how you could get, you used to get those big like brick looking cardboard like blocks. Well, this is what we do with like subscription boxes. So they turn into like little boxes and then they build the trains and stuff on them. Um, huh. Okay, so Outlander, for those of you who don't know, uh, so I might learn something too. Outlander is a historical drama television series based on a novel series of the same name by Dan Diana Gabaldon. The story follow follows Claire Randall, a married combat nurse from 1945 who is mysteriously swept back in time to 1743, where she is immediately thrown into an unknown world in which her life is threatened. When she is forced to marry Jamie Fraser, a chivalrous and romantic young Scottish warrior, a passionate relationship is ignited that tears Claire's heart between two vastly different men and two irre irreconcilable lives. Um, so the March box has borrowed the beloved colorscape and historical roots found within the pages of the timeless story. Ooh, I think I would really like this show. Keith and I were just, cause with, um, like the good place just ended. And so we sort of need like a new, a new show. Um, so Shetland wool, hailing from the Shetland Isles, Scotland, this beautiful and buttery wool is delightfully resilient and perfect for next to skin wear, traditionally used in fair isle knitting, which I have to say is one of my absolute favorite. Like I love color work. Color work is um, like my favorite. <laughs> and we do have some patterns. Oh, there's like a, there's a story. Um, okay, so there's some recommended patterns to consider uh, on, on the back of the newsletter. Okay, but let's go in to our little bag. So let's see what we have. Um, handmade silver thistle with purple Shetland thread stitch marker. Oh, if I can. I want to be careful because of the glass vial. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I would also love to, Paradise Fibers just ask what everyone's planning to make with it, and I'd love to see as well. Um, okay, so first, tied on, here is, and I guess this is Thistle, which is the purple of the color from the collection that is not included, I'm assuming. Um, and it's a little bit of yarn on the stitch marker. Which, what was it? It's a silver Thistle. Um, yeah, it's a th silver thistle stitch marker, which is super cute. It's really, really pretty. It's like a nice little flat disc. And even closer. Nope. Nope. We're not focusing. Okay, yeah. But so it's the purple, which goes very nicely with our other colors. Ooh, I like having this up here. Okay, and this bag, look, it has like a little embroidery on it. It's so pretty. Um... Okay, so it's a cotton muslin bag embroidered with forget-me-not. Ooh, okay, so wrapped up in, in this little packaging. Wow, okay, so here in this jar um, is, so it's a glass jar with a cork lid, it's, um, it's a Scottish breakfast loose leaf tea. Um, so use a generous teaspoon of this to make, the tea leaves to make an eight ounce cup. That is cool, let's. Ooh, that smells really good. I was gonna hold it, I was gonna hold it up for you guys to smell. That won't work. <laughs> Ooh, this is like, this is really, really good. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm, I'm next level sometimes, but that is super, super cool and a really cute way to do it. And it was very well like packaged inside of all the fluff, um, in all the fluff. Okay. 
So we also have in here is we have this 18 by 18 square of unbleached cotton muslin. Um, it's reusable to store and tote your fiber and also could be dyed. <laughs> um, but that that is awesome. Oh, and so the, the sheep is the Highland U, Highland and then EWE. It's the Highland U sticker, which I think is adorable. But I mean, the star, I'm going to put the gloss vial on the ground because watch, I will <laughs> knock it off. The star of the show, of course, is the wool. And these colors, like you could do, ooh, look at the palette is just beautiful. It's nice to have like deep colors like this that also have beautiful contrast. So yeah, there's a lot that you could do with it. And this box has a lot of fiber in it too. Um, Ah, uh, yes. So I see a question. Will the purple be available to purchase for club members before April? I'm assuming yes, but Paradise Fibers will probably answer uh, in a second. But yeah, the packages usually ship out towards the beginning of every month. And yeah, it's always exciting. And if I'm not at home, sometimes you get an email being like, your package has been delivered. And I'm just like, I have to hurry home. <laughs> but yeah, the okay, because Paradise Fibers has sent glass vials in them before, but the, I think maybe because it's soft, there was the fragile label, but there was sufficient padding like for, for this in there. And I'm definitely, this is like the kind of tea I really, really like. Um, okay, so Paradise Fibers said, yes, absolutely. Just give Paradise Fibers a call or email and they'll send an invoice for the purple color, which is called Thistle. Um, or you can wait until the end of the month when it will be available on the website for everyone. And you know your your newsletter does have the like code that you need to get the the discount, um, but it's also really easy to just email customer service and ask. Um, they've been very helpful. They were so worried about the glass bottles this month. No calls about breaking yet. Well, hopefully there won't be any. But uh, it's nice that like there's a warning on the outside, and you guys also have this handy warning on here too, which I think is a a good good thing. Oh man, yeah, the, it's funny, my, the shipping labels that I buy come with like a package of like fragile labels and I'm like, well, I only ship yarn, so I don't need the fragile labels. <laughs> oh, you didn't, so the stitch marker, uh-oh, you got your box and didn't get the stitch marker. The stitch marker was tied onto the outside of the embroidered bag, um, like a little charm like this. But yeah, if you didn't receive it, definitely email customer service. Uh, because I'm sure like when you're packaging up hundreds of packages that a mistake could happen. Um, yeah, this is so, so, so cute. Uh, I mean, they're always cute and there's a really nice, I think there's a really nice mixture of more subtle colors and more wild ones. Um, and so I think that there's like that variety is really, really fun. Like sometimes it's all natural stuff with even some dyeing projects. Uh, sometimes there's um, beautiful wild blended mixtures and it varies between like natural colors, uh, more subtle ones and then more wild ones, which I think is a nice because there's variety that works for a lot of people and not to mention that it can kind of push you outside of your color comfort zone, which is something that I know I always appreciate. But yeah, I like, uh, I, I just enjoy opening these up. Even, so even when I don't know the theme, like I didn't know much about Outlander, except for like, I think I knew like a little, like I have some pictures in my head that people have shown from talking about it and stuff. But, uh, you know, I certainly like understand the theme and enjoy it. And I mean, there's also been themes that I know more about. And so then I can, I can show my nerd side a little more when opening that. Um, oh, <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, no worries. Um, we have this gorgeous Outlander themed box. And I think I mean, even down to like the muslin square that tied everything together, everything that goes into these boxes is very personal. 
You know, it feels like some, like the kind of care package that you would plan to send to someone that you re like really care about. Or, I mean, this would rival, um, like whenever I see like people share like fiber share boxes or whatever that people are sending to each other, like this feels like that personal touch to it even though I know that I'm not the only one opening them up. So, but sometimes it feels like a personal, like very personal thing. And so that's just really, really great. And I really, really, sorry, Indy's sitting like down here right next to me. So this is petting him. But I, I really appreciate it. And I'm really, really grateful for the opportunity to unbox these and share them with everyone. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, it would be, it would be hard for me to rank all of the boxes, but it's, it's just nice that like after so many months, I still feel like surprised and, you know, it shows up and you're just like, oh, what's in store? What's in store for it? It's very much like opening a present. And, um, I know that like, if there's been like a hard day or anything like that, that opening this is something that just like, you know, and even like, you know, like my husband and kids, know, they're like, they're like, oh, are you going to open it? Because they get curious too. It takes an army to put it all together. I, I, I can't imagine. I think I, you've shown on Instagram, you're like, you're packaging like, like a room or a shelf where you have a bunch of different, just like packaging options. And it's just like, oh my gosh, it just must be so fun. <laughs> So, so much fun. And I'm also like, they, so if you follow Paradise Fibers on Instagram, sometimes they'll share, in addition to their mesmerizing blending videos, they, they've shared some like of the um, boxing up the different packages. And so um, are fandom pa pa boxes easier to theme? Hmm, I'm not sure it's possible, but it could also be hard. I mean, the, gosh, the, there, there have been some really cool, and now I'm, I would, I think one of my favorites, there was like a tropical one that was off of Living Coral, which was the Pantone color last year. I think that's the one that had the pineapple fiber in it. And that one just like, it, that one was just like, for like a non-fandom one, um, that one was just really, really cool. And then of course, you know, th there was the Harry Potter one and the Star Wars one. Uh, those ones will forever stick out. <laughs> and then the, oh, and then the mystery, mur murder mystery knit along. And so there's just a lot of creativity. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'd be curious about the rejected theme ideas. Because I can imagine there's some ideas that you're like, okay, maybe not now, but maybe we'll do this down the road. And then there's some ideas that you're like, yeah, no, we can't do that one. And so it would be curious to, to like, just, it would be amusing to like, <laughs> no, like uh, if you guys have like a list on the wall of like rejected box ideas <laughs> that are funny or something like that. Um, oh yeah, the, uh, yeah. Oh, and well, okay. I also really liked the, the there was a Wizard of Oz one. Uh, and not just because I was featured in it, <laughs> but, uh, it was also awesome. So they had like a rainbow dying project and they mentioned me in the box, which was a surprise. And so then like, if you go back and watch that video, I like get speechless and squeaky in it. Um, <laughs> and then there's also like a Lego yellow brick road stitch marker in there. So that's just, everything is just like above, like the the level of detail that goes into the thought of each one is just amazing <laughs> thanksgiving dinner theme books <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> although you could do some really cool like colorways um but yeah just reminiscing of, and well, honestly I still think one of the ones that sticks up sticks out to me was the very first one I ever opened. It was a 4th of July themed box. And I don't think I knew what to expect. And so like all the packaging and like elements and there was a bunch of Firestar, I think in red, white and blue, and just all these things. I was like, oh, 
wow. Like I was just like blown out of the water. So my expectations have been high ever since. And yeah, I, I love, uh, I don't know. I like this is, I can verify this is very, very soft. It's got the perfect like woolly smell. Uh, yes, the rainbow locks. Ah, uh, yeah. And the, the rainbow locks and I actually because I have I've shown like my little clouds so those rainbow locks are in my dining room and they're just there all the time because uh, <laughs> I wove like a little cloud and their rainbows are hanging down and so that's something that I have to look at so anyway it's very very fun and I can't oh I can't prop everything in the box like I might sometimes to show off at the end I'm leaving the tea on the floor but it's such a fun box. Oh, and I love that there's a sample of the purple color in here too. That even though there was, so the, this whole Heather Shetland line will be available on the Paradise Fibers website at the end of the month for everybody, but club members can have early access to it. And all the colors are here except for the purple. Well, I mean, the purple color is here, but there's not the purple unspun it's just in here <laughs> oh man i love it thank you paradise fiber so much for sending it to me and joining in the chat especially very last minute i <laughs> sometimes because i know you like to join the chat sometimes i try to plan these a little more in advance and then today i was like all right let's let's do it i can't wait any longer <laughs> It's like the kids have finally quieted down and now I can go and go and stream. And now, I mean, sometimes my youngest will be like, mommy, are you going to live stream today? <laughs> I don't think he knows what it really means except that he has to be a little quiet. <laughs> um, yes, it is, it is beautiful. Oh good, I'm glad, hey, I'm glad notifications work. Sometimes notifications don't work. <laughs> oh, an Indie Ponce. Hello, my little floof. I pick you up, but you're, he's, I'll show you guys the, well, you can see his legs. You can lay back down. He's not like, mommy, pet me. <laughs> and I was like, he's being such a good boy. <laughs> Oh, good. Yay. When notifications work, that's great. Um, oh, goodness. <laughs> you know, I think I've let Lucas pop into a live stream once. I hey, let them be in the ch videos as much as they want, but I'm a little nervous about them on live, on a live stream. <laughs> Lucas might share like personal information like addresses and phone numbers and stuff <laughs> so <laughs> he's a very smart kid but yeah he he made a feature in a vlog I shared today he took over I was letting him film for me he turned the cam he, he was like oh I want to show them something I'm like no honey no and he turns the camera around and starts talking <laughs> to the camera to tell all of you guys something. And so then I finally film him and let him talk about Die November, uh, which if anyone is curious, it's there's dinosaurs and they visit uh, in for the month of November, they visit and they move around the house every night. And so we, you know, they only move around at night when we're asleep, but the kids have discovered that if they stay in the same place two nights, for some reason, that means the next night, something strange or wild is going to happen. So <laughs> it's built into the story. Yes, he is a natural. He is a natural and he's very excited to do yarn camp with me this summer. I have a little um, knitting loom. So we're going to try to start teaching him how to knit. So we'll see. Um, although actually spinning might be easier. So we might try, I might try to get him, um, I might let him try the spinning wheel if we have a good block of time without his brother around. <laughs> I don't trust Ryder near the spinning wheel yet. Nope, nope, nope. But I think Lucas might enjoy the like rhythm of it. So we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, um, everyone go and check out Paradise Fibers. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And 
Yeah, I will drop my affiliate link into the chat one more time as I bend down awkwardly. Maybe next time I'll get like, I'll start setting up the laptop like here so that way I can see it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I learning to blend like myself is definitely a goal. And that's actually a very big plan with my floofy dude down here. Um, see his, so he's shedding right now and he had a bath so I can take a little bit of the, uh, indie fluff, but the staple length, like it's very spinnable. It's very fluffy, but the problem is that the staple length is pretty short. So I'm not, I think I definitely need to blend it with something. Um, but well, like indie, <laughs> yes, he, oh man, we, <laughs> His whole, yeah, just from petting him, we can get a nice little harvest right now. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I should brush you out tomorrow, Indie Ponds. All right, anyway. Yeah, I think so. And and dog fur, I have a, my aunt got me once. I have like a, just like a headband that's 50% husky fur. It is so warm. It's just, the, the warmth is unbelievable. But anyway. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in, and I really hope that you enjoyed this unboxing, and I really like having this all right here. Makes it very handy. <laughs> all right, everyone, I will see you tomorrow. Well, I mean, you'll kind of see me tomorrow. There's a new episode of Die Pot Weekly tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and yeah, so subscribe, notifications, and all that jazz, and I'll talk with you all soon. Bye, everyone. Oh, and I can't reach. <laughs> I'm like, do, do, do. It's like to get up so I don't disturb the dog. And yeah, but all right. Good night for real, guys. Bye.